not going anywhere. Get your pictures. So you notice how they're walking very slowly. That was the pace in the 18th century. You didn't march like you do today. That's my pace now. And if they do it right, you have to point your foot. You march slowly like this. So, it's going to make a big noise, kids. So watch what the commands are. Just a time and load. So they're going to bring their muskets down, open the pan, grab a cartridge out of their cartridge boxes, bite off the end of it, climb it, shut the pan, go in for end, down the barrel. Make sure it goes all the way down the barrel, except for the paper, back to the shoulder. So now they're ready for the firing command. As soon as the last guy is done. We're going to shoot the canoe as it's done. <laughs> no. The game now is going to be fire. So they're going to do it again. I told you. They shoot. Um, are they shooting real musket balls? No musket balls. Just gunpowder. Now one of the problems is today is a highly humid day, so there's probably going to be about 50% of the muskets will go off. But a nice sunny day, 90%. And when it rains, it becomes zero. 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 Exactly. <laughs> Take aim. And fire. 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 Go. So imagine that you're shooting at the fish, and they're doing the same thing. So how close would you want to get in a firefight back then? Thirty feet. Oh, close. Oh. <laughs> I didn't get it. There is documentation 15 yards they were shooting at you. Oh. What kind of courage does it take to stand 15 yards away from one of those things? You weren't very active. Wait, one. So the more the musket heats up, the better it actually fires. Hundred yards with this musket, 